welcome uh, on today's lecture i'll again uh, prove the trigonometric identities from this book new additional mathematics exercise 11.1 i have done up to um, in my last video i have done up to 21 so today i'm gonna do from 22 okay 22 says uh, let me write down 22 so 22 says sec theta over sec theta plus tan theta then plus tan theta over sec theta minus tan theta is identical to 1 plus 2 tan square theta okay check that um, sec theta over sec theta plus tan theta plus tan theta sec theta minus tan theta identical to 1 plus 2 tan square theta so that's what I'm gonna do in this video so left hand side I have this sec theta and then uh, over here is this so what can I do can I just see that this is in the form of a square plus b a plus b a minus b so I can do a square plus b square so I think I'm gonna do that one so sec theta plus tan theta and sec theta minus tan theta now when I multiply this with this I'm gonna end up with sec square theta plus minus minus sec theta tan theta and over here sec theta tan theta plus and then this is gonna give me tan square theta now if you look closely minus sec theta tan theta and plus sec theta tan theta I can cross this two out if I do then I have on the top sec square theta plus tan square theta and below here sec square theta minus tan square theta okay so I need 1 plus 2 tan square theta now if I look at my trigonometric ratios sec square theta can be replaced at tan square plus 1 okay so that's what I'm gonna do that's gonna be uh, sec square theta can be replaced by tan square theta plus 1 plus tan square theta and below here sec square can be written as tan square plus 1 here tan square plus 1 that's what I'm gonna do tan square theta plus 1 and then I have minus tan square theta I'm gonna keep this in this format now tan square tan square cross out okay and on the top I can write down 1 plus 1 tan square theta another tan square theta 2 tan square theta and below is 1 I don't need to write down that that's my right hand side check that that's right hand side so that's proved okay that's 22 let's do question number 23 okay 23 says cos a plus sec b so 23 says uh, 23 says cos a plus sec b over cos b plus sec a is identical to cos a into sec b okay check that 23 cos a plus sec b over cos b plus sec a is identical to cos a into sec b have you noticed that all my videos uh, uh, in the, uh, of this series, I'm checking, rechecking myself if I copy that one correctly or not. This is the best way you can do to avoid mistakes, uh, copying mistakes. Don't do that. It's better to check one more time, okay, because it contains mark and you're going to lose mark if you copy wrong. Okay, so cos A plus sec B, I can write down uh, cos A and that can be written as 1 by cos b and below here cos b plus 1 by cos a now do the lcm below down below here denominator is 1 so it's going to be cos b and this is going to be cos a cos b plus 1 and over here i can write down cos a and that's going to be cos a cos b plus 1 now uh, I can write down that cos A cos B plus 1 divided by cos B 
property is a fraction then cos a gonna go up and over here is cos a cos b plus 1 if I put that in the bracket I can see that cos a cos b plus 1 in the numerator and this one in the denominator they can be cancelled out and then from here I can write down cos a over cos b now I can write down cos a into 1 by cos b and 1 by cos b 1 by cos b can be written as sec b so equal to cos a into sec b and that's my right hand side okay that's my right hand side okay so 23 is done next is 24 next is 24 and 24 is saying uh, 3 minus 6 cos square x divided by sin x minus cos x is identical to 3 sin x plus cos x. Recheck again. Okay, number 24, 3 minus 6 cos square x over sin x minus cos x is identical to 3 in the bracket sin x plus cos x. All right, so I copied it right. I'm going to go for left hand side. And left hand side, it's a 3 minus, I have, if I take 3 common, see, I can take 3 common. So I can write down here 1 minus 2 cos square x over sin x minus cos x. I have sin x cos x. So here I have 2 cos square x and over here I have 1. Now see that sin x cos x if somehow I can get sin x cos x here and negative I can write down it's in this format. So 1 can I replace that by sin x square theta plus cos x square theta. Okay, so let's see what happens if I do that. I'm going to replace that one, this one, by sine square theta plus cos square theta. In this case, is x. So sine square x plus cos square x minus 2 cos square x. And below here is sine x minus cos x. Now this over here, 3, sine square remains same sine square x and this and that plus 1 cos square x minus 2 cos square x gonna give me minus cos square x and then sine x minus cos x see that I, I was trying to get this part that's why I changed 1 to this so I can write down the formula a square minus b square as a plus b a minus b then what happened 3 sine x minus cos x sin x plus cos x a minus b a plus b divided by sin x minus cos x now this and this are equal i can cross this out and i end up with 3 sin x plus cos x and that's nothing but my right hand side so i can write down right hand side and it's proved okay that's 24. I'm at the last math of this exercise of proving the identities. Question number 25. Okay, let's do 25. 25 is kind of weird looking math. It's 1 on the top and then 1 minus. Then on the top again 1. And this is 1 minus 1. And over here I have 1 minus sec squared x. Okay, it's like that. It's identical to sec square x. Okay, you can check that again. Um, 1, this is 1, divided by 1 minus 1, then below here 1 minus 1, then uh, over 1 minus sec square x. Okay, now, left hand side. Okay, it's going to be probably... Uh, boring to some of you because you keep writing this but do this it's not that tough at all 1 minus 1 now 1 minus sec square x 1 minus sec square x that can be written as um, see that instead of sec square I can write down tan square plus 1 so 
over here I can write down minus 10 square uh, x plus 1. See, in the place of sec square x, I'm writing 10 square x plus 1. So when I do that, and I can take the bracket of 1 minus 1, then this is 1 minus 1, and over here, 1 minus 10 square x minus 1. I can cancel this out. Now this minus, this minus is going to be plus. So 1, 1 minus 1, and then this is going to be 1 minus minus plus 1 by 10 square x. Okay. Now, again, like this, I have 1, 1 minus, this is, this is a lengthy process, then it's 10 square x, so 10 square x plus 1, now 10 square x plus 1, uh, now it's this way, 10 square x plus 1, what I'm going to do here now, uh, 1, this is 1, minus 10 square x, I'm going to take on the top, 10 square x, and then 10 square x plus 1. I'm going to do LCM over here, so 10 square x plus 1, and over here is going to be 10 square x plus 1 and minus 10 square x, but don't forget this 1 on the top, so it's going to be 1 on the top, so this equals sign supposed to be here. Now you can see that I can cancel this out. If I can cancel this out, then I can write down 1 divided by 1 over 10 square x plus 1. So this 10 square x plus 1 going to go up there. So that's 10 square x plus 1. And 10 square x plus 1 is nothing but sec square x. So that can be written as sec square x. And that's my right hand side. Okay, so that's right hand side. And that's proved. Okay, it's, it's kind of nasty looking math. Okay, there are so many steps and you keep repeating it. And the most important thing over here to remember is you might miss one of the one, okay? And that's the um, uh, mistake you can uh, make uh, frequently uh, or often. So don't um, uh, lose your patience. Just keep your calm and you're gonna, you're gonna get this, okay? If you have any question, leave in the question box, uh, comment box and I'll get back to you. Thank you, have a good day.